வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு கலி கிளாஸ் ரூம் திஸ் இஸ் த தேர்ட் லெக்சர் இன் த சாப்டர் செக்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் இந்தியன் எக்கானமி இன் சிபிஎஸ்இ டென்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் சாப்டர் டூ செக்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் இந்தியன் எக்கானமி திஸ் இஸ் த தேர்ட் லெக்சர் டேக்கன் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் third lecture taken in english sir what are we going to learn in this particular lecture by the end of our second lecture we saw that more number of people more than half the total workers in india are working in which sector primary sector or agricultural sector okay we are going to look at why is this happening what kind of employment is happening in agriculture what kind of employment is happening with respect to agriculture in agriculture there is a type of employment called as underemployment sir what is underemployment before we go for the theory sir what is underemployment before we go for the theory give me an idea give me an illustration give me an example okay listen to this let us say a farmer has Two acres of land. So, with this two acres of land, he is doing uh, some crops. He is uh, cultivating some crops. He will always have four months of water by our canals. He will always have four months of water annually per year by our canals. So, he usually tries to cultivate crops during those four months. In the other uh, eight months, in the other eight months, what is he doing? he is grazing his cattle he is getting milk from them and using this milk to run his family and using the money from this milk to run his family okay now let the entire family of the farmer is dependent on just these two acres of land and the output from the cattle on just these two acres of land and output from the cattle here the farmer his wife his two sons and obviously his daughter in laws they will all be working in the same farm here the farm is employing more than 5 to 6 people so just two acres of land is employing more than 5 to 6 people here all these people are not employed to their full potential all these people are not employed to their full capacity to their full potential it is such a kind of employment where people are always working those five to six people will always be working one of them will be sweeping the place one of them will be going to the shop to buy some uh, fertilizers one of them will be uh, going to uh, some other uh, okay they will be going to buy hyv seeds high yield variety seeds so all the people will be working but none of them will be working to their individual complete full capacity such kind of an employment is called as underemployment a situation of agricultural workers apparently working it looks like they are working apparently working but working less than their full potential but working less than their full potential is called as underemployment is everybody comfortable with the idea of underemployment sir give us a better example for underemployment each and every one of you students can take more than 95 marks but because the students are playful it is in the nature of their age to be playful you guys are not studying and you are missing some marks so that can be simply called as under studying why sir you are not studying to your complete capacity it can be called as under studying in a similar way farmers can do a lot of other things they can produce more employment here the farmers are apparently working and not working to their full potential this is called as under employment here the labor gets divided how sir one fellow if the work done by one fellow with full capacity the work done by one fellow at full capacity is done by four fellows and they are resting for the rest of the time and they are taking rest for the uh, other times okay so under employment in agricultural sector is hidden it is not obviously visible why sir because they are always working so it is also called as disguised unemployment what is disguised disguised means uh, you will you will not be able to see things camouflage camouflage in other words can be called as disguise disguise means you put on something in order to change your identity in a similar way 
here since the unemployment is not openly visible underemployment is also called as disguised unemployment sir wait a second yes kana why is it called as underemployment under means below you are not employing to your complete capacity you are employing below your complete capacity so it is called as underemployment also it is called as disguised un unemployment because you are not able to visually see and experience the unemployment underemployment and disguised unemployment in agriculture can be prevented by providing better work opportunities for people elsewhere okay how are we going to do that let us see in a couple of seconds underemployment is it only happening only in agriculture no underemployment is also happening in thousands of casual workers in service sectors sir give us an example sir let us say you are calling an private electrician for some problem in your home some electrical issues in your home the private electrician will come handle those issues and you will pay him you will give him daily wages you will give him uh, wages for the work that the electrician has done am i right or wrong you will pay the electrician for the work that he has done some days the electrician might not get some work so he will be unemployed in those days so the electrician will be unemployed in those days so daily wage earners daily wage jobs are also having thousands of casual workers in service sector who are also experiencing who are also experiencing underemployment and disguised unemployment okay sir how are how are we going to reduce underemployment how are we going to provide employment how are we going to create more employment okay let us look at this first we will give bank loans at reasonable rate for farmers why sir for constructing wells sowing watering and other equipment hiv seeds pesticides insecticides and harvesting equipment because we are providing such facilities the farmers will be able to get more output from the same 2 hectares of land he is still working on the same 2 hectares of land but the farmer using hiv seeds fertilizers and better uh, wells at uh, better wells using what has he brought all these things uh, using the loans provided by the banks at reasonable rates using the loans provided by the banks at reasonable rates the farmer is able to get better equipments to increase his yield also construction of basic agricultural infrastructure like dams and canals because one of the primary issues in india is irrigation the farmer will have a rain fed land he will be expecting rain in order for the crops to grow by providing better dams and canal facilities for irrigation we are creating jobs we are creating jobs in the agricultural sector itself because in, in the first example we saw that the farmer will be getting ca canal water for just 4 months in a year if you are able to give canal water from the dams all 12 months of the year the farmer will be able to produce crops for the entire year he will be able to sell crops for the entire year and people need to invest government need to invest better money in facilities of transport and storage so that the farmers can grow the crops and sell throughout the year better transportation facilities and better storage facilities help the farmers to confidently produce the crop they will have better storage facilities so they can produce the crop store the crop and later sell the crop when we get good prices in semi rural areas local industries can be identified and promoted sir so what type of local industries can be identified dal mills can be identified and, and they will do pulse crop processing you can process different kind of dals like lentils and etc green gram and there are so many dals in fact india is the one largest producer of dals pulses and the largest consumer of dals anyway let's not get diverted so dal mills can be uh, can be promoted and identified identified and promoted for pulse crop processing also you can uh, put a lot of uh, what what are the other industries you can put coir industries you can put 
Coir industries. What are the other industries? You can promote silk worm, uh, silk manufacturing using silkworms. You can promote uh, honey collection. Okay. Also, you can open cold storage facilities which allow the storage of agricultural produce like to potatoes and onions which can be sold when the price is good. Price is good means you can sell them. Otherwise, you can simply put them in the cold storage. What is the next thing, sir? Regional crafts can be identified and promoted. Give me an example, sir. Let us say, uh, you, you one of the very famous regional crafts in Tamil Nadu can be patisaris. It can be patisaris. In Kanjiburam, uh, we are manufacturing a lot of patisaris in Tamil Nadu. So you can identify the patisaris in Kanjiburam and promote that industry. So it will encourage cultural tourism. People will come from other countries to experience the patisaris of Kanjiburam. In fact, this will build tourism, not just cultural tourism. We can promote medical tourism. We can promote adventure tourism. We can promote religious tourism. We can promote tourism like anything. In fact, planning commission estimates that if tourism is improved, there will be an additional 35 lakh people being employed in that particular industry, especially youth. Jobs can also be created in education and IT industry. There are long term measures. Let me repeat myself. These are long term measures to create employment. You cannot immediately build a dam. You will not be able to promote tourism just like that. You need to have a long term strategy. You need to plan. You need to visualize with respect to many years. Then only you will be able to implement all these things. Then only you will be able to promote local industries. Invest money in transport and storage facilities. Build dams in order to give canal irrigation to the farmers. Sir, until we are able to implement these long term strategies, give us a quick solution, a quick measure, an immediate measure to provide work opportunities to the rural poor below the poverty line, to the people in the village who are below the poverty line. For quick measures to create employment, central government has implemented Yan Rega 2005. What is NREGA? National Rural Employment Guarantee Act 2005. This law implements the right to work. What is it implementing? It is implementing the right to work. It is in effect in all rural areas from April 1, 2008. What is it promoting? Obviously, it is providing opportunities for people in rural areas who are below the poverty line for working. It is implementing the right to work. It is promoting rural employment for people living below the poverty line. How is it providing such an opportunity, sir? Under this Yandrega 2005 system, people in need of work and also with the ability to work. Let me repeat myself. People in need of work, they want work, but also they will have the ability to work. They will be guaranteed 100 days of employment in a given year by the government. They will be given at least 100 days of employment. Okay, sir. What if the government fails to give employment? If the government fails to provide such 100 days of employment, they will be getting unemployment allowances. This system has been implemented in 200 districts of India and now it has been extended to 330 districts. The type of work that is done in Yandrega, let me repeat, the type of work that is run, uh, done in Yandrega will be such kind that it improves the production from the land, that it improves the production from the land. The value of the land has to be increased. Such a type of work will be done by the people working in Yandrega, National Rural Employment Guarantee Act 2005. Yeah, that's basically the end of this lecture. Sir, how are we going to study this lecture? You are going to study this lecture with respect to what is underemployment. You will concentrate what is underemployment has a important two mark. Also, you will study about Yandrega 2005. This is a five star two mark. Yandrega 2005. Often repeated question. Okay, sir. What is the big question in this section? How are we going to create more employment in, in rural areas, in urban areas? How are we going to reduce underemployment in agriculture? Such questions. This is the answer. For such questions, this is the answer. How are we going to uh, create more employment? How are we going to reduce 
uh, underemployment or disgaced employment you will get the answer from these points you will get the answer from these points the long term measures yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture i had so much fun preparing and taking lecture for you guys cheers and thank you yeah if you like our lecture hit the like button subscribe to us promote our channel to your friends forward our videos promote our channel to your friends let us grow together let us have fun learning together see you guys in the next lecture cheers and thank you see you guys in the next lecture cheers and thank you